hi guys welcome back to my channel this video is gonna be uh beauty makeup empties for the month of june july and august three full months wow i feel like time has been flying uh been very busy i've been very sick again <laughs> surprise surprise to no one um so you know <laughs> here we are it's taken me three months to film empties or you know i had to combine three months total that's what i'm trying to say i do have quite a few products i have my makeup separated i have everything already separated so we can just start rolling if you like empties videos and you know knowing what i thought about the products that i finished up obviously i finished them up so i have a good opinion about them please keep on watching don't forget to subscribe to my channel and now let's go ahead and get into this video actually before we get into this video I like always, I will have my uh, empty total in the description box um, for the categories and uh, total so far for the year. So if you're curious, check that out as well. Now let's go ahead and get started. Um, I did separate everything because there's a lot of products and I'm gonna go ahead and start with makeup. I have quite a bit of makeup this time around. I have one, two, three lippies. Uh, the first one is from Tower 28. This is the Shine On Jelly Lip Lip, lip Jelly. Um, and this is in the shade Spicy. I do really like these from uh, Tower 28. No surprise to anyone. I did take the stopper out and try to scrape as much as I could. I really, really enjoy these. And I'm so happy to be done with one of them. Another uh, lip empty is the MAC <clears throat> Lipstick. There's maybe one or two uses, but I'm, I'm not even going to bother. This is in the shade uh, Once Upon the Stars. This was one of their holiday, maybe two, three years ago. They came in like trios. So this was one of them. Um, I did really enjoy it. I personally really enjoyed it, but my husband did not like it on me. So every time I'd wear it, he's like, Ugh, again with that lipstick. Um, so <laughs> there's that. But I really enjoyed it. The formula, again, was really nice. And the color itself was really nice. But thank God, one bullet lipstick out of my collection. I think this is the first one of the year. I'm not really sure. Um, it's easier for me to go through lip glosses and like lip balms and stuff like that or lip treatment stuff, just like this one now, than it is to go through bullet lipsticks. I don't know, what, well, I know why, because I reach through these a lot more. I reach for these a lot more than I reach for bullet lipsticks. My God, I feel tongue tied. It's been maybe a month since I sat down and talked to you guys, so bear with me. I'm trying I'm trying to get back in the, in the, in the flow of things. I can't even think, gosh. All right, the next lippy is from by Mario. This is the Moisture Glow Plumping Lip Serum, and this was the shade Bronze Glow. I do have a backup of this one. I do really like it. I keep twisting it. I mean, there's nothing gonna twist up. I even like went in there and scraped some out. This was so beautiful. It made my lips look super juicy, super glowy. It felt really nice it looked the shade was really really beautiful yeah i did really enjoy it and again i do have another one of these the same shade i might pick up a couple more shades i'm waiting for the holidays to see if they're gonna have any um you know holiday sets sorry we heard something in the room me and i and we're like what is that uh, i have two mascaras one is by hourglass this is the caution extreme lash mascara i loved it i really really enjoyed it um and the same with the pat mcgrath labs fetish eyes mascara i do really like this one as well i haven't been buying it because i actually have quite a bit of full-size mascaras that i purchased previously and then i keep getting mascara samples you know with orders and stuff like that so i have not repurchased any new mas like I, ha I haven't repurchased a single mascara this year it's just basically stuff that i'm trying to go through the tr the trash the stash wow Oof, rania do i need more caffeine or what i'm still sick just yeah okay anyway these two i'm happy to be done with i gotta bring this empty the trash closer to me um so yeah i'm working on like five or six open mascaras currently I'm getting close on some of them and i have thoughts on quite a bit of them moving along from grande uh, cosmetics i have a grande liner a grande brow and the grande lash md the lash md is i love that stuff um, I'm finally working on a full size one of them, so the 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 mini is gone. 
Um, the same with the brow product. This is the brow enhancing serum. I actually really liked it. Um, I haven't opened a new one. I have it sitting sitting on my vanity. It's been it's been sitting here since I finished this one because I just wanted to print out the label, <laughs> saying when did I open it and stick it on there before I open it because I do forget when I open them and I end up throwing some out before you know they're over the you know before they're empty. Anyway, so I haven't opened it. Like what in the world? This guy is gone. I did feel like quite a bit of difference in my brows when I was using it. They felt very bushy kind of very quickly and a little bit unruly. Like they definitely needed brow gel to like stay in place because they were getting pretty long and like really thick. Um, so right now I feel like, I mean, my I've always had good brows, but you know, using it and having it, why not? And then the last one, which is the Grande Liner, was the Liquid Eyeliner with Lash Enhancing Serum. This is in the shade Black. I don't know if it was completely, completely empty, but it had open, been open for about six months, and I don't feel comfortable using it at this point. So I'm calling it empty. I do have a concealer. This is the Hourglass Vanish Concealer in the shade Sepia. I am finally done with this guy, like finally. Um, I did take out the stopper at some point. I tried to scrape as much as I could out of it. And then I'm like, okay, I'm done. Like big old windows and all that. I have thoughts. <laughs> when I first started using this one, I really enjoyed it. I thought the formula was really nice. Um, it was a little bit light for my skin tone, but I could make it work, especially if I'm not tan, it would work fine. Now, when it started getting towards the end of its life, like the past month or so, I started noticing a lot more creasing under my eye. Like even if I set it really well, I, I felt like, okay, it's still creasing. Kind of made my under eye area start to look a little bit kind of on the drier side, which is something I do not want. I already feel like my under eye area could use more hydration. So yeah, um, it was good. It was really good up until towards the end of its life where I was like, okay, th this guy, I need to buckle down and finish it because it's got to go um towards the end again when it start feeling kind of dry a little bit under my eye and like I could see circles in order to not circles lines I started using a little bit more with my foundation especially if it's a darker foundation like I'll add a little tiny bit mix it up and then apply it to my face to kind of like even out and tr just try to finish it up um i got two more makeup empties one is by milani this is the fruit fetish make it last uh kiwi watermelon setting spray i did not care for the scent that much i didn't think that it smelled like kiwi or like watermelon but the formula itself i do really enjoy um yeah I'm, I'm done with this one i think i have one more scented and maybe one or two that are just original no scent at all so I gotta start working through that stash and just narrow it down to my absolute loves. Uh, would I tra travel with that one? This is how I'm starting to call it. Like, is it a love or is it not a love? Would I travel with that one? Absolutely not. Um, I get to do my makeup like one time in the morning and I'm working all day, especially like if it's hot and humid. Um, sure, it works if I need my makeup to be on for four hours, but I had days where I was like, 11 12 hours and it's like okay no this is not gonna work so i do have other setting sprays that i like a lot more that i travel with um and that's why this is some not something i would repurchase it works it's good for normal normal work days or no work days just like putting on my makeup for a little bit but again do i really need that space in my collection probably not so that's gotta go i'm not that's gotta go i don't think i i won't repurchase anytime soon even if I finish the other ones that I have because there are a couple others that I love a lot more I hope that made it clear not confusing um I do have an iconic London illuminator and this is the original one this is a little tiny mini but it lasted for such a long time it was so beautiful I really like the glow that it had the shade was really nice as well I did use uh, some of this guy mixed up with my uh, body lotion, just to kind of like give it a little something, something on my, my legs and my chest. It was really pretty. I did really enjoy it. 
Um, I do have, I guess, like a makeup declutter and a sponge. So we'll talk about those real quick right now because this is probably the only declutter this time around. This is the Grande Lips Hydra Hydrating Lip Plumper and this is in the shade Barely There. This is one of the shades that I had in my collection. I was like, oh, did it go bad? What's wrong with it? I did not enjoy it. So I'm gonna go ahead and let it go. And I do um, went through, I guess, a Haley's sponge, Haley's Beauty sponge. I don't know guys, this one, I feel like it absorbs, like it sucks up a lot of my makeup. Like it does just like drinks it up and it's kind of a little bit hard to clean the color of it. Um, so yeah, she's gone. I think that's probably like the last Haley's product I have in my collection. I've gone through, oh no, I do have their concealer, I believe. Yeah, so anyways, that's the last Haley's sponge. That was it for makeup. I'm gonna go ahead and move on. I have a lot of hair care, skincare, body care. Um, I guess we'll do skincare next and then we'll we'll do something else after. Alrighty, let's talk about skincare. I do have some full sizes. I have got it all this time around. Have quite a few sheets. Again, I had been traveling and I'm taking stuff with me. Um, we'll talk about an eye cream first. This is by Ren. This is the Brightening Dark Circle Eye Cream. I really enjoyed this one. Like I actually enjoyed it quite a bit. I'm liking it a lot more than the one I'm currently using, which is an Elgenist one, which I'm surprised. I thought I would really enjoy the Elgenist one, but I don't know. I felt like I had better results with this one. Uh, my under eye area felt more hydrated. Uh, yeah. Anyway, this one was a really good one. I enjoyed it. Um, I've got e.l.f. Holy Hydration Makeup Melting Cleansing Balm. Um, this is a good one. It's easy, like, to, you know, it melts my makeup pretty well. And then I go in with the second cleanser. I mean, it's a pretty good one. It's, it's good for the price as well. Compare, you know, comparing it price-wise to some of the other ones, like by Pharmacy or, you know, some other brands. It's a pretty good price. I do, I have a spatula in there that I use with it. So there it goes. That's that guy's gone. I do have a couple more in my collection, so we're not buying yet. I um really enjoyed this product and this is the only thing that I've ever used from Zellens. This is the Power D Vitamin D Concentrate. It's a fortifying and restoring like vitamin D. Oh my god, this was amazing. I enjoyed it quite quite a bit. Um, I loved it the days where I had something going on with my skin. I'm like, okay, something's going on. It needs some help. This guy, like almost overnight, I would feel a difference. Um, if I have really bad breakouts and I need to get rid of like the color, I need to get to heal them and just like my skin to go back to normal right, right after. This guy was amazing. I did really enjoy it quite a bit. Um just by itself all over my face or as a last step in my skincare i really really enjoyed it uh i do have a problem with it and i i think this is a common thing because i was looking at the at their website and i was going through the reviews because i'm like gosh the pump on this thing is such a pain in the ass it's so wasteful like sometimes you pump it and it kind of like leaks all over the product it just was a horrible pump that was my only problem with it i did not like the pump on it especially towards the end like i would have to take off the pump and like pour a little bit on my fingertips and like pat it onto my skin uh for the price they need a better pump but gosh this amazing product i would definitely consider repurchasing um i did get that in cult beauty advent calendar last year i do plan on picking up the advent calendar again this year have my fingers crossed please be in there please be in there i would really really enjoy that um again it's not a cheap product so i'm like i gotta think twice before i going out and buying it but i would like to have it again in my collection Okay, let's talk about um, some serums, more, more skincare samples. I have this Caudalie Vino Perfect Radiant Serum. 
this is a product that I've used before. I've used the full size of this guy before. I've used a couple samples of it and I know that I really enjoy it and I really, really enjoyed it. It's a very lightweight serum. It feels really good on the skin and then following it up with moisturizer. I don't have a problem with moisturizers that go on top of it or even just going straight with that Zellens oil sometimes it worked really well so i that's something i would consider repurchasing for sure um something that i will not repurchase would be the dr dennis gross vitamin c plus lactic um this i just did not like how tacky this product was the orangey tint to it i don't know if mine was just old so it was a little bit kind of like extra orange or what like I could see it on my face but sometimes when i like try to demonstrate put it in my hand and like i'm like okay i can't see the oranginess so what's going on rania are you being crazy could be but i did not like the consistencies more than anything i did not like it i've used some other vitamin c's that i really like but this this is 15 percent vitamin c so i'm not sure like is that the reason why it's kind of like ticky, sticky tacky or what um, from Dermalogica, this is the Circular Hydration Serum. Um, this was nice, again, as well. It was uh, hydrating, felt pretty nice and hydrating on the skin. Uh, I had no complaints. It was a pretty small sample, though. From Fresh Tea Elixir Skin Resilience Activating Serum. Now this, I was like, mm, I could skip it. It had a nice scent to it, but like formula wise it felt kind of like overly runny I, I don't know i did not enjoy it so much on my skin i felt like my skin needed more for sure uh, than this provided we've got a tatcha the dewy cream um <laughs> i could not wait to be done with this one i think it's the fact that i was using it in the summertime and it just felt heavy on my skin um it didn't feel like lightweight and just super plumped it just felt heavy uh I, yeah i don't know i think definitely the weather played a big role in me feeling that probably would have been better using it in the winter time but i just was like okay we're, we're finishing this baby we're gonna be done with it from glam glow we've got the super mud uh clearing treatment uh mask i got so many uses out of this little baby like unbelievable I'm like, am I, oh, am I using it enough? <laughs> um, it was intense is the best word I can describe this one. Put it on and like almost immediately, well, not almost immediately, but it dries and like it dries tight. And then some nights when I would wash it off, my skin would be looking a little bit red for a little bit. Follow it immediately with this guy and my skin would look so nice, so clean and bright and like from the zelens product like super dewy hydrated yeah that's the best way i found using that one i do have a little garnier uh, micellar cleansing water i actually enjoyed this one compared to some others i've used before uh this is with vitamin c all in one brightening i i it could be the fact that it was with vitamin c that i enjoyed it but i enjoyed this one um quite a bit actually I do have some under eye uh, masks. I have three from Wander Beauty. Uh, these are the baggage claim gold eye masks. I did take these with me on travel. Um, and I really, really, really enjoyed them. I wasn't getting much sleep and with the time difference and just like being so tired and away from the family and all that. So these, like I, use them right before going to bed i will put it on whatever serum was left i'll tap it on the top of the uh like on my upper brow area upper lid and then even like some of it it would have enough serum so i'll like just massage it on my neck and i'll just put them on and lay in bed right before going to sleep um I've definitely left them on for longer than 10, 15 minutes, maybe like 20, 30 minutes. Sometimes I'll be watching YouTube or something. And then when I take them off and even the next day, like my under eye area felt so nice, so hydrated, so plumped, really enjoyed them. I think I have two or three left. I got to work through them. I, I know I'm looking kind of haggard already again, so I need to use them. Okay, some couple products that I did try out. Um, this, these are by Shani. 
Darden skincare. This is the lactic acid exfoliating serum. Um, I had placed an order on Sephora and I got seven of these. Um, so I was planning, okay, to use them for seven nights. I was going to be gone for eight nights actually. So I was like, okay, one a night. Um, no, I did not like the scent and they were pretty harsh where I don't think my skin would have handled seven nights in a row of this one. Like I could, I would apply it on my skin and especially like this part, um, over here, it would just burn. It, it would feel like irritated it doesn't stay burning for a while but you'll get at least like 30 minutes of kind of like oh that might have been a little bit too harsh for my skin so i only used two i split them on like one first night and then like four or five nights later i used the other one i i hated the scent the smell was i, I couldn't i couldn't take it Am I still gonna use them? Yes, because I did notice a difference the next morning, like my skin was like, ooh, okay, looks really nice. I just gotta figure out a way or maybe not bring it all the way up to here. Or maybe it's just like my skin was having some sort of issues. So I'm taking a break and then not using any acids for a little bit before I use them again. I'm using more of hydrating products. Um, so yeah, that's, that's one thing. Now this, I cannot wait to repurchase. I actually, <laughs> been going in and out of my shopping cart um this is the at macy's because i couldn't find it at ulta or sephora but this is the ysl pure shots night reboot serum this is uh moonlight cactus flower plus glycolic acid anti-fatigue and resurfacing oh my god my skin love this guy loved it loved it loved it my the next morning i woke up so like beautiful it was like hey i'm glowing yeah i i really enjoyed it i'm just trying to work through some so much in the stash that i'm like it does not make any sense for me to purchase it now and for it to sit on the shelf for quite some time while i'm working through some other products that i'm actually enjoy as well but this is definitely gonna be a repurchase uh from kate somerville i do have an exfoliate cleanser um this is a daily foaming wash it was nice uh from dermalogica special cleansing gel this was really nice as well and i do have a skin fix acne plus um select spot acne treatment i finally finished the little packet that i had open i did have some like weird breakouts at certain times and yeah this worked i do have a full size of it just fyi um lastly for skincare would be the mask lab hydrating and soothing aloe vera cleansing wipes i hated these i hated them this is finally the last pack that i got from tj maxx they were a stack of three so it's last one not gonna repurchase i think we'll go ahead and move on to hair care and then we'll do body care and perfumes i actually have quite a bit of perfumes um quite a bit of samples so let's do hair care i'm gonna do the samples first i do have moroccan oil the color care blonde perfecting purple shampoo and conditioner um i did take this with me on some sort of trip when i'm like okay i need i'm gonna i, I know that i'm gonna need to uh, uh you know use some purple shampoo at some point pretty soon so this is easier than taking a full size um I don't remember. <laughs> I honestly do not remember. It was not that impressive uh, that I was like, got out of the shower. I'm like, okay, my, my hair is really hydrated or not. It was not anything special. Now this guy, which is the Moroccan oil intense hydrating mask, I did enjoy. I actually really enjoyed it. This again went with me on travel one time and yeah, it, it worked really well. My hair was super soft when I got out of the shower think it smelled really nice is what I remember as well so I enjoyed that now for full-size hair products that I really 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 loved and I'm like no 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 so I'm waiting for the holiday sets because fingers crossed they're gonna do it again this year they did it last year they did it the year before is by Oribe and this is the gold lust repair and restore shampoo and the hair mask um i still working on the conditioner i think maybe one more use but oh my god this stuff is amazing um the shampoo and the conditioner which i didn't finish the conditioner yet and a little hair oil came in the holiday set and i bought the mask separately so 
I will re I definitely will repurchase. It's already in my loves list at Sephora. I do have some other shampoos that I really enjoy now that I'm working on. So I'm not in a rush to repurchase it, but I will be repurchasing. Um, I felt like my hair, not just the, uh, like how my hair felt, but my hair color looked so much nicer. It looked a lot more shiny. It looked more like golden. I don't know if it's the gold lust part. Is that what it's supposed to do? Like make your gold hair like, man, amazing. Really enjoyed it pricey pricey is f the same with the hair mask but holy moly this guy is amazing um now the trick with this one it see the, the directions on here says massage indulge for as long as you want and rinse what does that mean five minutes 20 an hour two hours i've left it on for an hour and oh my hair looked amazing super soft I would wash my hair with that shampoo. I would put this mask on, brush it, put it up, and then get out of the shower, you know, do the rest of my body. Get out of the shower, go about doing whatever I need to do for 30 minutes up to an hour. Go back in there, wash it, and then use the conditioner. Amazing. It's the best results I've had for like when I wanted to leave my hair curly and like not really put too much effort into it. Gave me some really good results. Um, again, with the hair vibrancy, oh my God, beautiful. Again, pricey as hell. So waiting for Sephora's fall sale and fingers crossed, Oribe is gonna put out the same kit this year or something similar that I could get a little bit discount on that and 20%. So I'm hoping, I'm praying for that. I have a couple more products for hair care. I have from Wade the leave-in conditioner. This was actually really nice. I really enjoyed it. Um, it. It was really nice. My hair liked it. I do have Zotos All About Curls High Definition Gel. This is kind of like the tried and true and very trusted hair gel. I know what I'm going to get out of this one. It's always going to do the same thing. I like it. Um, I started using this one right around the time that diva curl was having some lawsuit issues with hair loss and all that i like this one more than i like the diva curl especially diva curl towards the end it was not working out for my hair at all um but yeah this guy i do really like i actually repurchased i went to sell i got i get it from sally's so i went to sally's and they were having their jumbo event thing so if you buy one you get one for half off i'm like god damn it so I have two full sizes now. <laughs> they trick me with that stuff. I'm like, hey, a discount. I can't say no. I know I'm going to use it. I know that I'll go through it too. But probably for the two full sizes that I have, it's going to be a few months. Especially when I try to finish up some other smaller stuff that's open and lying around. And that I want to try, you know, in the mix that extends the, the lifetime of this product. <clears throat> From Briogeo Superfood Avocado and Kiwi Mega Moisture Hair Mask. I don't know. It's not my favorite. I felt like the um, the Moroccan oil was better. The Oribe one, like a million times <laughs> better. It comes with a hefty price tag. So this was okay. I used it kind of like, it didn't do much as a hair mask. It was kind of like a conditioner that you needed to follow it with another conditioner. I don't know why I do not have good results with Briogeo. Like I've tried there, the one that everybody raves about, repair, don't despair. And I'm like, it doesn't do anything. My hair feels drier after using it than, you know, so this is this was another product I could take it or leave it. I just used it because I'm like, okay, well, you know, my hair could use all the moisture it can take, so why not use it and use a conditioner after it? Um, one more hair product, and this is by Ozzy. This is the Headstrong Volume Gel, uh, 20 hour lift in one use, maximum hold kind of thing. That this worked fine. I have no. Uh, I had no complaints, like it, don't like it. It worked fine, it, it was it was okay. Uh, would it be a, you know, like the absolute favorite that I'll go back to? No, I like this one more. I feel like the cast that I get with this one and then like the, the ease of crunching out the cast is unbeatable. Like I really like it, It's it, it makes my hair like 
it, it does what I want from a gel to do. Where this one is like, okay, it was nice, but not quite as nice. We've got quite a bit of body care products. Um, I'm gonna talk about some sunscreen first. I have Super Goop Play Antioxidant Body Mist. This was actually pretty cool, pretty nice. And I have the Blue Lizard Sunscreen um, SPF 50. Uh, this was white, spraying it white so you could see where you're applying it. Um, they both work pretty well. I do like the um, Blue Lizard because they're definitely like earth friendly and like reef safe. So I like that, especially if I'm you know, going to Hawaii or something like that. So I do like that one. Uh, I don't know about Super Goop. It probably is, but it's cruelty free. I know that, but is it reef safe? I'm not sure. Probably is. Anyway, so this one I use when I, you know, needed sunscreen and this one I, traveled with so <clears throat> okay um body products there's quite a few moisturizers like quite a few uh i think it was just like things towards the end and they started all being used up from ulta beauty this is watermelon body sorbet i, I dropped it <laughs> i didn't think that this was hydrating enough um it smelled nice that's all I remember. It is an older product. I got it from Ulta a while ago. So glad to be done with that. Uh, this guy, I love, love, love. And I do have a full size now. But this is the Sol de Janeiro Bom Dia Bright Cream. It smells amazing. Like absolutely amazing. I really enjoyed the smell. Really enjoyed the texture. Really, really liked it. I loved how long the scent lasts on me. Like a lot. Um, I do have another Sol de Janeiro product. It's not a lotion, but I actually like the Bom Dia way more. And this is, um, I can't remember which Chirosa that was. But anyways, uh, I'm gonna, just going to keep talking about body lotions before I switch to another product or category. Josie Mara, Mara, Josie Mara, Maron. Oh my God. Josie Maron. Josie Maron. Whipped Argon Oil, Be True, Unscented. This is extremely rich. If you have dehydrated skin, this is the product for you. This little jar lasted a long, long, long time. Um, it lived in my travel bag, part of it, so I don't have to like worry about every time packing a new one. I did have to pack a new one for my last trip, and actually I'm still using it because I still feel like, Okay, my body's a little bit dry but yeah this very hydrating and that's why like it was good to go somewhere with it where i know the water or the environment or whatever is gonna dry out my skin so that's a good one um but to be honest i'm not gonna repurchase it's just too thick it's weird like it's super rehydrating but it's thick like you can feel it after you apply it. it's not like it just vanishes like i could tell yes i have moisturizer on where i have some other moisturizers that i've used where i'm like really hydrating but i'm like okay i, I can't tell that i have a moisturizer on but my body really enjoyed it like i don't want to feel kind of sticky in any ways i i don't like that feeling um one product that for example does not make me feel sticky but again it's kind of different because this is like a rich body butter so i can't like really compare the two but you know i'm just gonna um this i can't feel that i have lotion on i can smell it i can feel my skin kind of hydrated but if i do this it's not like oh i'm tugging you know like t touching lotion um aromatherapy stress relief uh eucalyptus and spearmint from bath and body works i enjoyed it it smelled really good too i don't i have a hand cream and this has been through hell and back this is by biosance this is the squalene and omega repair hand cream i did not like it again it gives me i i, I liked what it did to my skin but it gives me the same feeling like too heavy too rich I can, my hands are kind of like, whatever I touch, I'm like, okay, kind of greasy. I don't like that feeling. Uh, shower gels, let's talk about that. And this is the Sol de Janeiro product that, you know, this is the Brazilian foreplay. This, I, I'm, this is the scent, like the Boom Boom Cream. 
uh, I did not like the shower gel of this product. I felt like the shower gel cream or whatever from the Bondia was, well, no, that was kind of runny too. They're both too runny. I feel like it's just too runny. Um, I didn't care for that. I'm like, I, I want it to lather. I want it to be rich. I want it to hydrate, not just like be runny and smell good. And then, you know, so yeah. I like, and I think I really enjoy the this scent a lot more than that one, um, which that one, what was it supposed to be like salted caramel and pistachio is the scent, um, the boom boom cream, I believe that's what it is, where this one, I, I just liked it more, I felt like it lasted on me a lot longer, I could smell it a lot longer, and I just loved it, loved the scent of it. Uh, two more shower gels. I have the Kiehl's Original Musk Blend Number no. One Bath and Bath and Shower Liquid Body Cleanser. It took me a little while. It's the scent is kind of very strong, so some days I'm like I really don't want to use it. But overall, I really enjoyed it. And then I have an Ulta Beauty Creamy Colada Shower Gel Three in One Smoothie Something. This took me ages to finish. I do have one more of these. I hate the pump. I absolutely hate the pump on this product. Yeah, I towards the end I was like, forget it. Like halfway through the product, I'm like, I'm just gonna open it and then pour it out. Cause you with pump and it like you don't get much out when you pump it, and then the pump gets stuck, so you have to like pull it out or it'll slowly go out. You pump it again, okay. I'll wait. So I hated that. I need quick 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 let's go let's go let's go <laughs> i've got some bath salts these are from lord and mayfair to be honest i don't remember where i got these from um relaxing bath salts luxurious guest amenities must have been a hotel i don't know but these are gone um lastly we've got perfumes okay i do have quite a few i'm gonna start with a body mist this is the mango temptation from is this victoria's secret i believe i believe it's victoria's secret it's either that or bath and body works it doesn't say come on I should say well victoriasecret.com <laughs> let's not talk about how old this body mist is but it was nice it was like found it at some point i'm like oh okay mango temptation smelled good summertime i used it up um you can go heavy-handed with that like drench your whole body and then you know 10 minutes later you're like did i even spray anything i don't know uh i got few little samples but i also have some of these this is the floral street wonderland peony um like little perfume fragrance a purse spray is what I was trying to, the word I was looking for uh this smelled really nice I really enjoyed it it did bug me though that I could not take this part out to like refill it and stick it back in my purse I feel like that's the point of having a travel perfume like purse spray you should be able to refill it from your full-size bottle right yeah no it i i could not i still have a full size of it i would have loved to be able to refill it and like you know have it in my purse or the option to refill it and put it in my purse but they took that away from me um from fleur this is the missing person oh eau de parfum it smelled okay but evaporated immediately it was not usually the scent that i gravitate towards it was kind of like on the cleaner side not super sexy not super musky or sweet or any of that it was just like okay uh not gonna repurchase i do have quite a few samples now one that i really really would love to repurchase and i do have it on my uh, loves list at sephora is from commodity and this is the gold scent uh this smelled really really nice really enjoyed it i have one more sample that i'm working on it smelled really good I have one more that I'm like, oh gosh, I really want it. But looking at the price tag, I'm like, do I? Um, this is uh, by Killian, Love, Don't Be Shy. Oh my God, it smells so, so, so good. So good, so good, so good. Even when I I spray it and then my son and my husband are like, ooh, that smells really yummy. Ooh, that smells really good. That smells really good. The bottle, you only have it in one size, $290. I've done worse. I'm not going to lie but i just gotta be in the mindset that oh, all right i'm i'm buying this um definitely in my loves list at sephora 
I'll probably end up picking it up at some point pretty soon. Now, if there's some other ones, I probably enjoyed some of them or we'll talk, I guess I'll remember when I go through them. This is Alien Goddess by uh, Mugler. I did buy a full size of this one. It's actually my uh, part of my birthday gift from my husband. He did buy me that one. Um, this is Hermes, Tear de Hermes. This is by Hermes. I think I liked it. I honestly don't remember. Uh, Amazing Grace, Jasmine by Philosophy. No, 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 not for me. It was too clean. Gucci, Flora, Gorgeous Jasmine. This smelled really good. I feel like, was this the one that um, I felt like it did not last on me that long? It just kind of like, it smelled really nice, but then like a few hours later, just could not smell it anymore. And I don't like that. I've got Idol Le Parfum by Lancome. I don't know if this is um, one of the newer ones. Um, I, I can't really remember. I have a hard time smelling things, so I'm pretty congested. So when I used it yesterday, I thought it was the same one that I was thinking about, but my husband's like, which one is that? So I'm like, I thought that's the one you like. He's like, oh, do I? So I don't know. And then I have Flower Bomb uh, by Victor and Rolf. This is a really nice one. I kind of debated picking up a full size of this one during Ulta 10 time the points event, but I did not. I got a different one. I actually got a Lancome one, one of the Lancome idols. I bought the latest one, which now I'm like, was that the one that I really wanted to buy? I don't know. Anyways. <laughs> Um, this was a long video. I hope you guys enjoyed it or found it helpful in any way or condition. If you did, please make sure to go ahead and give me a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for being here with me and spending some time with me. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.